So you've just modified your Nintendo Switch console with a mod chip and you're at the no SD card screen and you don't know where to go from here. Carry on watching the video to figure out how to set up your Nintendo Switch console. So guys, just before we get uh, over onto the PC and get started with this video, these are a couple of bits that you're going to need. So obviously you're going to need your modified switch. This has a mod chip in it, of course. You're going to need a USB-C to USB-A cable. I'd also recommend having a card reader handy and obviously a micro SD card of your choice, which this is, if it focuses, is a 5 12 gigabyte sandisk micro sd card so what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over onto the computer and we're going to get started with the video so guys once we're over on the pc the first thing you're going to do is you'll want to download a program called fat 32 formatter the link for this will be in the video description and then what you want to do is go ahead and plug your sd card into the computer which i've obviously used the sd card reader that you've seen in the previous clip so if I open my file explorer now and let that load and if I scroll down and you can see on the left hand side here we've got switch SD. If I right click on this and go to show more options and click properties at the moment you can see this SD card is formatted to XFAT which is not really any good for the Nintendo Switch as it causes corruption. So what we're going to need to do is format this to FAT32. So I'm going to close out of this for now and close out of here and go into this little switch setup folder and in here you can see GUI format.exe so I'm going to go ahead and open this up if you are prompted by uh, the user account controls just go ahead and click yes and this will open the program so what you want to do now is you'll need to obviously select the drives uh, letter which mine is H and you can see there it says uh, switch SD and obviously I'm going to keep the uh, volume label as switch SD I'm going to keep it ticked on quick format and then I'm just going to go ahead and press the start button it says do you really want to format drive H all data will be lost just go ahead and press OK and obviously it says fail to open device apparently it's in use by another program which it is it's in use here by file explorer so if I just close that down and go ahead and press start again and click OK what it's going to do now is it's going to go ahead and format the SD card so if you give this a couple of seconds, it'll get to the end with a green line and then the uh, close button will highlight so you can close it down. Just go ahead and press close. Once you've closed that, you can go back to File Explorer, scroll down to your SD card. Once again, right click, show more options and properties. And as you can see now, it's now FAT32. So what we'll want to do next, or this is what I do anyway, is in the Switch Setup folder, all the links, like I said, will be provided in the video description. We have the file here, hecate underscore ctcaer underscore 6.2.1. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up that zip file. Once I've opened that up, here you can see we've got two files. So what I'm going to do is drag these both across to the root of the SD card and let those copy across. Once they've copied across, what you'll want to do, obviously, this is for the uh, mod, mod chipped console. So you're going to want to highlight um, this file here, which is called Hecate underscore CTCAER underscore 6.2.1.bin. And you want to go ahead and press F2 or right click and rename. You want to backspace this. So you've just got dot bin and you want to type in payload like so and press enter so that file is then called payload.bin so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to close this down i'm going to close out of this file and i'm going to close this down also in the right hand side of my computer i'm going to click the little arrow i'm going to click right click on the little usb option and i'm going to eject the micro sd card so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to plug this into my nintendo switch console i'll switch over to the phone's camera and i'll show you guys what to do from here so once we're back at the nintendo switch you just want to go ahead and pop that sd card in and power on the console and give it a minute to boot as you can see it's booted and we've got the hecate underscore ipl so what you want to do now is you'll obviously want to set the time and date so i'm just going to do this now so we're in august today's date is the second and the time is for me right now 21 28 so i'm just going to set this to 29 and click done 
So what you want to do now is before doing anything is I would recommend checking your stock firmware to see what version it's on. As of now, 18.1.0 is the latest firmware. So what I would do is update stock to this and then we can go ahead and create the MU NAND. So to boot stock from here, you just wanna go ahead and press the reboot button. Once it pops up, you just wanna go ahead and press OFW and wait for the switch console to load. So as you can see, the switch console is now loaded. So we're just gonna unlock this. And then what I'm gonna do is head over to settings and scroll down to system. So as you can see here, current version is 18.1.0. So I'm already on the latest software. But if you guys are not, you just wanna go ahead and press system update and update the console to the latest firmware. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and shut down the console. So I'm gonna do this now. And once that's powered down, I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds and I'm gonna reboot it once again by pressing the power button. So once we've loaded back into Hecate, we then want to go and create an emunand. So to do this, what you want to do is press this button here, which says Emu MMC. So you go ahead and click that. And then as you can see in the top left hand corner, it says disabled. So what you'll go want to go ahead and do, sorry, is press create Emu MMC. And here you've got two options, you've got SD file and SD partition. Now it's entirely up to you guys which one you want to use. I've always used SD file, but people have said it's known for corruption, but I've never had any issues in the last four years that I've had a modified Nintendo Switch console. So you just want to go ahead and choose which one you want to choose. Partition is a bit more difficult if you get a bigger SD card later down the line, it's a bit more difficult to uh, transfer all your data across SD file. It's a simple drag and drop. So I use SD file So I'm just going to go ahead and press this and then what you're going to do is wait for it to check for the space available And then what it's going to do is it's going to start creating the emu MMC So we're just going to wait for this to check for available space So as you can see now, it's currently creating the Emu MMC, and this is gonna take a while depending on the type of SD card that you've got. So I'm just going to um, pause the video, and once this is complete, I'll get back to you once it's done. So as you can see now, the Emu MMC has been created, and it took a total time of 41 minutes and 10 seconds. Like I said, depending on the speed of your SD card will depend on how long it takes to create the Emu MMC NAND. So what you can do now is go ahead and press the close button in the top right hand corner. And as you can see now in the top left, it says enabled. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back to the computer, plug in the micro SD card to the SD card reader, and we're gonna add some more files to the micro SD card. So we're now back over on the computer and I have added all the files that we're going to need to the switch setup folder. I've also gone ahead and deleted the Hecate file because we're not going to need that anymore. And I've also deleted the FAT32 formatter GUI program. Now there's a lot of files here and it may look confusing, but I can assure you it's really not. If you just follow along, you won't have any issues at all. So what I'm going to do now is open the Switch's SD card and I'm going to drag this over to the left. And the Switch setup folder, I'm going to drag it over to the right. So the first thing I'm going to copy across is the Atmosphere files. Again, all links will be provided in the video description. So I'm gonna open up the atmosphere uh, folder or file now. I'm gonna close this down. And as you can see here, we've got atmosphere switch and hbmenu.nro. All you want to do is highlight these following files and drag them across to the root of the SD card. Let them copy across and that's that completed. You can close out of that. The next thing you'll want to copy across is the fuseit.bin. So this needs to be placed in bootloader and payloads and you want to just grab the fusey.bin and drag that across. Once we've done that, you can also go ahead and grab lockpick, which is in this zip file here. So if you open this up and go into, you don't need to go into anything, sorry, the bin file here, all you need to do is drag that 
and copy that into the payloads folder also like so once you've done that you can again go ahead and close this down what you'll want to do now is go ahead and go back and what i'm going to do just to make this easier for myself is delete the files that i've already put on there so we've copied all the atmosphere files across so we can delete that we've copied lockpick so we can delete that copy fusey.bin so we can delete that so then we'll move on to the next so next thing we'll copy across is the sig patches so if you go ahead and open this up and on your sd card you go back to the root what i'm going to do now is go into the bootload folder and go into the bootload folder in here and drag the patches.ini file into my bootload file on the sd card i'm going to go back back on here i'm going to go into the atmosphere folder on here and then the atmosphere folder on my sd card and copy these file ac files across like so once i've done that let them copy it across and once they're complete we'll go back again in the winrar file so bear with me a second while it copies across that's copied i'm going to go back and then you can see the switch folder so i'm going to go back to the root of my sd card go to the switch folder open up the switch folder here and copy the dot overlays file across so i now know that i've copied every file from the sig patches.zip folder so what i'm going to do now is close that down delete the sig patches that's sorted so we're now going to open the tinfoil self installer once again we're going to go into the switch folder which we're already in on the micro sd card so if you open up the switch folder in here and grab the tinfoil folder and drag this across that will install tinfoil to the console so we'll just again wait for that to copy across once that's done we can close out of that and go ahead and delete that file there and we've also only sorry got a few files left to go so if we go back to the root of the sd card and go to bootloader we can drag the hecate underscore ipl.ini file into the root of the bootloader folder if it asks you to replace it just go ahead and click replace the file destination and that's that copied across and go ahead now and delete this and like i said we've only got a few files left which is going to take a couple of seconds so if you go back to the root of the sd card and you can see these um, files here. We've got a background.bmp and then we've got some icons.bmp. I'll explain what these are for later. So what we're going to do is go into bootloader again. And we're going to go into the res folder, which stands for resources. What we're going to do is grab all the BMP files. So you can hold control and left click each one and it'll highlight them all. And then what you want to do is drag them across into the res folder like so. If it asks you to replace, just click yes. Once that's complete, we can delete all these from the uh, switch setup folder. So now you can see that we've only got one file left. And this is a file for blo the blocking the Nintendo servers. So to do this, what you want to do is go back to the root of your SD card, go into the atmosphere folder, and you'll want to right click in there, go to show more options, new, and then create a new folder. You'll want to call this folder hosts, which is H-O-S-T-S no capitals or lowercase once you've created this folder you want to double click and open it up you can see that it says the folder's empty that's fine grab the emu mmc.txt and drag this file into here so once we've done that you can now see once we delete it out of here the switch setup folder is now empty and the nintendo switch is set up now for first boot so what we're going to do is close this down Again, we're going to go into the bottom right -hand corner and eject the switcher's micro SD card. So what we're going to do now is switch over onto the phone camera and have a look at the switch console. And we're going to go for a first boot on the console. So what you want to do is go ahead and pop that micro SD card back in the switcher's console. And you just want to go ahead and power that on. Once you've powered it on, you'll be presented with the Hecate. And as you can see now, we've got a custom background on Hecate, which is like an old retro background, which I created. So as I said earlier, the BMP files that we copied across, basically what they're going to do is one of them is going to control this background. So the custom image I created is obviously the one you can see in the video now. And if you go to the launch section, you can see, see here that we've got custom icons. So if you guys don't want custom icons, you don't have to put these BMP files into that res folder. It is entirely up to you. But these are little shortcuts made to allow you to boot into, for example, stock, lockpick or custom firmware. So as you, 
So what we're going to do now, sorry, is we're going to go ahead and boot into custom firmware for the first time after creating the MUNAND and putting all the atmosphere files onto there. So we're just going to go ahead and press the CFW button. And what that's going to do now is it's going to attempt to load into atmosphere. So we're just going to give it a couple of seconds and hopefully we get into atmosphere without any errors. So as you can see, we've got the atmosphere logo there. Got the Nintendo Switch logo. And lo and behold, we now are at the main menu of the console. So just let me unlock this and click A a couple of times. And as you can see, we're now on the dashboard of the Nintendo Switch console. So the first thing I recommend is going down to the albums folder. And you should see tinfoil installer. And you just want to go ahead and press the A button on this. And what should happen in a second is it should load into tinfoil and it'll install it to the console. So we're just going to wait for this to um, go across and load up. And as you can see at the top, the icons or the text looks a bit dodgy. Sometimes this happens with tinfoil. So if you go to the home, press the home button, press X, I believe it is, and close the software. You can see it has been added to the dashboard. But if we go ahead and load it up again you should see that um, it loads properly and the text loads like you can see there. So we've now got Tinfoil installed, excellent. We have now got a jailbroken console with Tinfoil on it. And the last thing you want to do is double check that you have got this set up correctly. So if you head over to the settings section and scroll down to system, as you can see there, we are on 18.1.0. AMS version 1.71 and we've got the E at the end which stands for Emunand. So that's just been a video on how to set up the Emunand for the Nintendo Switch console and this is how you should be setting it up once you've installed the mod chip. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video, peace.